Hello, I am Anloop and in this video, I am going to show you how to download and use Looper app on your Android phone. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. To download Looper app on your phone, I have given a link in the description box. When you open the link, you reach to a website and it is the only website where you can get this app. Just simply click on download APK. Now you can see that download has been started. Just click on OK if it asks you to keep the app in your phone. I think now it is done. Now let us check it in the download section. As you can see, the file has been downloaded. To install the package, simply click on the file and click on package installer. And now simply click on install. Okay, now the app has been installed. Now you can open and check it out. When you first open the app, it will ask you to calibrate to measure the latency. So make sure your headphones are not connected and volume is up. So when your calibration is over, you have got here three options. You need to click on new if you want to make new stuff or you want to start new session. You can go into files where you can find out your saved sessions. If you want to measure latency one more time, you can simply click on calibrate. So now we want to start new session. So we just go into new. Now here we can see three settings and two options. Bars, beat, BPM, create metronome and import master loop. These settings are only needed when you are creating a metronome. You can increase and decrease the values. It will make changes in the timing of your metronome. So in this video, we're going to only see about creating a metronome. For importing a master loop, I will make part 2. So to watch that video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. I'm making another part because when you import a master loop, you can use it differently and it's tricky I would say because it's mostly used for when you are making a fast beat. So in this video, we are only going with creating a metronome and it is so simple. You can hear the sound of metronome. You can even mute the sound of metronome if you don't need it. Press and hold it for 2 seconds. And we get here few settings. I think we should record the sound first. I just mute this metronome because I don't need it. First I just decrease its timing. And to record a sound you need to click on the right side of the bar. So when it shows orange color, that means you need to wait until it completes a round. And when it shows red, that means recording has been started. I will show you how it works. So yeah, when it become red, I recorded my sound and now it's looping. And when you click on the left side of the bar, you can mute it. Now let us check out the settings. The first one is for the volume, the second one is for the pan and the third one is reverb. For the drums, you should not increase the reverb because it will sound too harsh. So it will be better to keep it low in case of drums. To record one more sound in the same bar, just simply click on right side once again. Use this app every day and you will find this app very simple and easy to use. 
If you are the beginner and you want some ideas to make your stuff, I have made many videos and uploaded them on my channel. All my Android loop station stuffs are out there. You can check them out. But I mostly use the master loop to make fast beats. Yeah, just like this. You can watch this video on my channel. Also, the link will be given in the description box. Soon, I will upload the part 2 and I will show how you can use the master loop. Until then, like, share, comment and subscribe.